This is definitely not something that I learned overnight. It took me a little while to figure out what's going on. But as everybody should know, cosmology is the study of the universe as a whole, meaning everything at the same time. Everything. It's a cosmology, the entire universe. Okay. People who do cosmology concern themselves with essentially the formation of everything, meaning the universe in parentheses. Now you have the formation of Earth, Mars, galaxies, brown dwarfs, red dwarfs, asteroids. Pretty important stuff. Large scale structures, they are inside of the universe. And then you have particle physics. Now, that's something that I just noticed. I forgot chemistry. Might want to make that a little bit bigger in the future. But essentially, what cosmology is, is they study formation of everything, which means they should be studying, you know, everything. All of it, right? But they, they don't do that. What they do is they say, well, we're studying everything, so we have to use the Big Bang Theory, which is the theory of how the universe came to be. So they go like this. Here's a little graph. Here was the Big Bang event. Now, picture this through time. So this is the event when it happened, and as you progress, the universe expands out according to the Big Bang Theory. So what they do is to completely circumvent chemistry, the formation of Earth, Mars, galaxies, brown dwarfs, red dwarfs, asteroids, and go straight to an experiment to where they can somehow prove that all of this came to be via the Big Bang. They squeeze all of it to the particle physics realm, sitting at around 380,000 years when the supposed Big Bang event happened. So they can only study this. They just want to study all this area right here after the Big Bang and say, oh, look, our LHC device, you know, in Switzerland, Geneva, or whatever, we're studying all this little area right here. So we don't need to include chemistry or the formation of Earth, Mars, galaxies, brown dwarfs, red dwarfs, asteroids. We can just go right over here. You just completely ignore all of that. And their belief is that somehow their theory can pan out by smashing little particles together. Do you realize how delusional that is? You can't explain how large-scale structures form by ignoring chemistry and by ignoring the structures themselves. You can't figure out how these things form by ignoring them and then going to particle physics. That doesn't make any sense at all. But what I've learned is that they don't want to actually engage in philosophy or science. They want to ignore all of it and then say, oh, go to the chemistry department to ask those questions, or go to the philosophy department. We have the perfect experiments. We have the billions of dollars. We can prove that this Big Bang happened, and we can study when all these events happened by smashing particles together. We don't even need to explain how the Earth formed, or Mars, or galaxies or the evolution of quasars into large galaxies, or the formation of asteroids in the vacuum of outer space. They think they can just ignore all of it, and that is their explanation, is you're dumb, that, that stuff isn't important, whatever. So there you have it. Hopefully people can understand what I'm talking about, if not, Please leave your questions and comments below.